Hey, I'm William Davis, and welcome to your music lesson. Today, we're going to work on Amazing Grace and uh, just add a few elements of style to it, some things that we might like. Um, so remember, two ways to play. One way is emphasizing the melody, and another way to play is just uh, you're working on the harmony and the chords, and someone else is either singing or uh, you have another instrument playing melody. So if we were going to play this song with melody, we'd go... So we're not going to do that right now. We're going to concentrate on playing how we would play if we were in a group and we were backing someone up, okay? So uh, I would play it like this. Let's talk about a few things that I did there. First thing I want to teach you is about walking up and walking down. So when I was on the one, the G chord, okay, that's our one chord, key of G, G is one. Amazing grace, how sweet, okay. C is our four chord. So I moved from G to C. Now to get to C, I can walk to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk up. So uh, check out my bass movement. It's as easy as that. My bass movement was diatonic. If it's diatonic, it's part of the scale. Okay, so real easy. No altered tones here. Amazing grace. How sweet. Okay, now with my right hand, I have other diatonic tones available. That is notes that belong to the scale that I can use to move up. So I can do like this. Sing grace. And now I'm on my C chord, okay? So the first thing you wanna do, uh, first way you wanna think when you're uh, making your music a little fancier sounding is to think what notes are available to you. You have the notes of the scale available to you. So when you're in G, the notes that are in the G scale generally are going to work in all kinds of different situations. What I did is I walked my bass up to the four. Now I've got a little B right here in my G chord, and so I walked it up. Okay, so those two together and there's my walk up to my four. Now when I played it earlier, I put a seventh in it. I'm kind of thinking a little more uh, bluesy sound for my Amazing Grace here. All right, so let's put it in action here. Amazing Grace. Now here I am on my four. All right. I'm going to walk down to six minor. So here I am. Uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I want to get to E minor for that saved. Right, here's my E minor chord. So what I can do is I can walk down to E minor. So remember, we're thinking about the scale. We're staying on the G scale, and that gives us a lot of places to go. So for me to walk down, do that. You can stay on the G chord, right hand, and just G, F sharp, E. So let's do that from the top. Amazing. Walk it up. And the four. And the one. There's my E minor. Here's my two seven. Five. Now we're going to walk up 
to G. Watch what I'm going to do with my left hand. Okay, so that's our five, five, six, seven, one. Okay, look at my right hand. I'm just going to take that F sharp, G, A. So here's our walk up. Good. All right. So walking up and walking down, all things that we can do on any song. So I want to give you something to practice. I uh, want you to practice on in different keys, not just for Amazing Grace, just all kinds of chords. Just go to the key of C, for instance. And uh, if C is your one, then F is four, G is five, and back to C again. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to walk up to the four chord. So our left hand is going to be C, E, E, F. Okay, our right hand, I'm using this uh, first inversion of the C chord. So I'm just going to walk up like this. Put a little country twist on that. Now let's walk back down from the F to the C. Good. All right. Now let's walk down from C to G. Okay, so we're on the C chord. C, B, A, G. We're in the key of C. That's all diatonic, all notes of the scale. So I'm going to do like this. So all I'm doing is I'm moving my root and I'm moving my third. Three, two, one, seven. And I'm talking about this note here. Seven, one, two, three. Now let's walk up. Looking at the right hand note. Three, four, five, six. Six, five, four, three. All right, you should practice these in uh, all your keys, uh, any key, even if they're harder keys, work on your scales. We're gonna talk more about walk-ups and walk-downs in uh, future lessons, but this will get you started.